So, this is a game, and we are once again back in Dear Esther Landmark Edition. This is going to be the last chapter of this playthrough, I guess you can call it. Um, so, let's just get right into it. As always, I don't know when the the voice thingies start so we'll just wait and see what's gonna happen I wish I could have known Domery in this place we would have had so much to debate did he paint these stones or did I who left the pots in the hut by the jetty who formed the museum under the sea who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? It does kind of look like some um, electronic things, I guess you can say. Maybe these paintings on the wall. It's rather interesting. Can I go this way? I can, but not for very far. Am I going to fall into the water? Yep. I thought so. Come on. I to get up. I'm stuck. <laughs> um. There's that beacon that has been somewhere mm, a couple times. I actually don't know what I'm doing here. There we are. Okay, that's a bit... A little tiny bit high to get up there. Um, I'd like to try to go the other way as well. Just to see if they say... A voiceover part. I still actually don't know the right word for those parts, but, but it's fine. Let's keep going. So I heard that there are going to be four urns throughout this playthrough or this game, I guess. Um, which might mean one in every chapter, but I haven't seen any. So, there is that. Okay, there is something up here. And that's one of those painting cans, I guess. And brush. But nothing here. So the other path led this way, and there's one there as well. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. The music in this game is actually pretty good. I know it just stopped, but still. We shall begin to assemble our own version of the North Shore. We will scrawl in dead languages and electrical diagrams and hide them away for future theologians to muse and mumble over. We will send a letter to Esther Donnelly and demand her answer. We will mix the paint with ashes and tarmac and the glow from our infections. We will paint a moon over the Sanford Junction, and blue lights falling like stars along the hard shoulder. Okay. Here is a... Some form of electronic... Oh, it's a defibrillator, isn't it? And some medical gear. Okay, okay. That's, um, I guess, a good thing to have, maybe. <laughs> Probably is pretty.
pretty nice to have a defibrillator though it probably needs some kind of electronic power which didn't seem to be in that cave um, but yeah is that a massive painting on I think it is on the the cliff side do you think I can turn around and get going to get up there maybe I don't know I'm a bit confused now let's try to see this I just think it's another oh this looks more like some kind of chemistry or, or something I think the people who actually got to this island was rather intelligent seems like it since since they were able to well well I mean it might just be some random scribbles but but it did seem like they knew what they were writing on the on the cave walls and stuff like that so I think they are pretty intelligent though I do not know if that's true this seems like an old car and this is just water that leads nowhere this is the music stopped entirely that's weird maybe they thought that I'm too slow <laughs> I don't know that might be the case okay. there were chemical oh. stains on the tarmac the leak of air conditioning, brake fluid and petrol. He kept sniffing at his fingers as he sat by the roadside, waiting as if he couldn't quite understand or recognize their smell. He said he'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter. He'd stopped for farewell drinks earlier, but had kept a careful eye on his intake. You could hear the sirens above the idling traffic. Okay. There are a lot of these um, lights, I guess, around. Don't know why there are so many and who turned them on. Can I go down here? Well, I, I know I can. Let's just see what's down here. I thought, oh, is I, I was going to say I thought that was some kind of human they're seagulls I think at least some kind of bird and the music is back I don't think I can get up there that's fine then let's keep it going a um, random fact Oh well, I actually think I said that before. Never mind. I From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Oh, the paper birds. We, we did see that them in the cave, didn't we? Well, there are more here at least. 21, he said. There are quite a few here, so... That's probably not the same ones as those in... In the cave. Also, it seems like we are going up there. <clears throat> Let's just check out this carriage looking thing first. Oh, some eggs. And on a sudden light from heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground. Okay. Probably right. So a lot of a lot of boats. Let's just 
keep echoing up this set of stairs. Uh, also, what I was going to say before, which I then remembered I had said already, is that I never actually got this far into the game. I only played a tiny bit of the first chapter. So, yeah. I think 10 minutes in total I played before starting this playthrough. And those were 10 minutes played 6 years ago. So, if you, if I didn't tell you, I, but I'm pretty sure I did, now I definitely have. And so I'm still rather curious as to what that is on the mountain over there. But hopefully we might find out. A sound of torn metal, teeth running over the edge of the rocks, a moon that casts a signal as I lay pinned beside you. The ticking of the cooling engine, and the calling from a great height, all my mind as a bypass. Okay. It does seem like it's getting a teeny bit more intense. His, uh, his telling, storytelling. Okay. Are you seeing that over there? Just very, oh, now I go down here and I can't see it and it's probably gone right. Oh no, it's not. Do you think I'm able to get up there? I'm not. Of course I am not. But that's a bit of a weird one. I mean, it's the second person-like figure. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. There's no one here now. What did I see then? It, as I said, it's the second human-like figure we've ever seen. And since it's gone now, it probably wasn't there before, right? Oh, and this is the way down. Well, <laughs> not very far down. Probably shouldn't go. Be going this way. Can I get back up here? Maybe I can. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that that was a weird one. Why was there accelerate if someone? But now there's none. Let's go all the way up there then. Okay, there's none here. Then let's keep going, I guess, and see what's gonna happen. And as he was. I don't know, praying, maybe, on his journey, proceeding, maybe, I'm not sure, but something like that. Was that just the wind? I don't know. Hopefully this, this is getting a bit cramped and dark. The light just very dark. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. 
what is going on here? It's turning back now, right? Here it is. What is going on? I'm confused. Probably the point of all this, right? Uh, I think. Bent back like a nail. Like a hangnail, like a drowning man clung onto the wheel, drunk and spiraled, washed onto the lost shore under a moon as fractured as a shattered wing. We cleave, we are flight and suspended, these wretched painkillers, this form inconstant. I will take flight, I will take flight. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea though. I'm pretty sure that's a bad idea I've seen here. Why didn't you turn on your your flashlight? This is quite an amazing view. Did I actually get to that house over there? I don't think I did. I think I might have been able to. But it's too far back now. I see it right right in the middle of the screen now there's a, a junction. It goes backwards. Oh. Though I would like to see it. It's just, I'm sorry, it's just too slow to walk that far backwards. Oh, there's some thing on the wall there that I didn't even notice. And now I can see the writing on this cave, or this cliff sign, I guess. Danger. Unauthorized personnel keep out. Isn't that a bit weird to have that on the, the other side? So when this is locked, it says it in here. Or close days. That's a bit of a, weird, of a weird one. There's some more text here. If you, okay, it's not actually on the wall. <laughs> it's a bit not quite on the wall. Um, I guess that's just how the game is programmed. Beautiful wall. Uh, version breaking, but that's just <coughs> how it is. Okay, I see why you said danger. No, nope, Siri, I didn't say anything about you. Getting quite high up. Actually, as in, as in, very, very high up. And I thought the view down there was good. I have dredged these waters for the bones of the hermit, for the traces of Donnelly, for any sign of Jacobson's flock, for the empty bottle that would incriminate him. I have scoured this stretch of motorway 21 times, attempting to recreate his trajectory, the point when his heart stopped dead and all he saw was the moon over the Sanford Junction. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. And it was not his fault. It was the converging lines that doomed him. This is not a recorded natural condition. The gulls do not fly so low over the motorway and cause him to swerve. The paint scored away from his car in lines like an infection, making directly for the heart. Okay. It's actually pretty, pretty, pretty. It's uh, I, I like how what they did with the water. It's kind of honestly painted. It's really nice. Okay, let's keep going. There's more text in the wall. There's quite a bit of text at this place. I mean, it is close to the ending, right? Actually, this video has been going on for. A Tiny bit longer than usual. Oh, let's just keep going upwards. Where is the guy there once again? And he's gone. Oh, he's still there. Can I keep an eye on him all? 
Man of the Rocks, I just got an achievement. Called Man of the Rocks. Maybe because I stared at him for too long, and now he's gone. Probably. No, he's still there. I am the Ariel. In my passing, I will send news to each and every star. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We have always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. there we are that was a rather weird end i guess um <laughs> though not quite unexpected to be honest though maybe not entirely what you were going to expect right but um yeah that's that wasn't the end of, of this game I don't quite know what I have to say. Um, it's definitely a a playthrough worthy game, though it is kind of short, as you can see here. It only took around around now 
maybe a little bit more to complete. Of course, if you want to 100% it, it will take a little while longer. Um, can I actually go over this? No, let's let's just keep the um, these things rolling, the credits, I guess, rolling, and see if there's anything nice we want to see. Um, the game is is this as I have said this game I just played is a remastered it version of of the original game well I mean yeah just a, re a remastered version of the game and it's called the landmark edition the, the normal game is just called tier este and it's um it's it's a good game but it is it's a different one to say the least it is not not your usual usual game and there we have it dear the landmark edition all four chapters has been completed and that also marks the end of this short playthrough i guess all chapters one two three and four has now been completed and uh, yeah so if you enjoyed please make sure to uh, to tell me by leave a like and if you want to see something more you can follow me on both youtube subscribe to me on youtube and follow me on twitch but that's gonna be it for today i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one